Have you guys seen this? Trump being accused by a New York state judge for fraud. Well, what they're saying he did now, they're saying he inflated the valuation of his properties. He's, oh, he overvalued his properties and now they try to take him down for fraud. You see, these people are not playing by the rules anymore. They don't care anymore. They're doing this right in front of people's faces. They know the people are, are for Trump. They don't like Trump because Trump is not going to go there and start a forever war. No, these people love wars. Last time Trump was there, he didn't start any new wars. And he threw lots of spanners in the works of this globalist elites. So they can't afford to have him there no more. They'd rather have Gavin Newsom there. Uh, Nikki Haley there, preferably. Or Mike Pence. The Republican Party would rather have either that Nikki Haley or Mike Pence. They, they do not want Trump. But the people want Trump. Everybody I speak to that weren't for Trump before are for Trump now because they see what's happening. This is a witch hunt. This is lawfare. They're trying to make it impossible for him to run in New York because all these charges, accusations won't stick. For example, they're saying uh, he overvalued properties, defrauded the banks or whatever. So you want to tell me the banks don't do their due diligence? If you want to collect a little credit card, a £2,000 2000 credit card, they do serious research on your ass to make sure there is every, everything is a goal. And you're telling me someone's taking loans for millions or billions, they're just going to let him go like that, take his word for it, without doing proper due diligence? This is stupid. This is very, very, very stupid. This case is not going to be a juror case. So the, the judge ruling. <laughs> oh, my. This is they turning. They turn an American into a banana republic where a sitting government can use the, the, their powers to oppress and suppress their political opposition. This is getting ridiculous. Like I'm not for any party. I do not vote. Because if voting made, made a difference, they wouldn't let us do it. But when you see things like this, it makes you reconsider. Like, whoa, what were they doing like this, man? They're coming after him with every single power available to them. And New York George puts a spotlight on former President Donald Trump. You see, they always call him former president. They never call him President Donald Trump. Uh, put a spotlight on his business empire this week. Determining in a ruling that he had inflated the value of his properties by considerable sums to gain favorable terms on loans and insurance. If the ruling stands, uh, Mr. Trump could lose control of some of his most well-known New York estates. An outcome uh, the state's attorney general, Leticia James, sought when she filed a lawsuit last year that accused him of fraud and called for the cancellation of his business certificates for any entities uh, in the states that benefited from deceitful practices. The ruling by the judge, Arthur something something, of the New York State Supreme Court came before a trial, largely to decide possible penalties that could begin an er as early as Monday. <laughs> as early as Monday? They're just in a rush, man. They're trying to make sure to put every single barrier in his way and make things difficult for him, for him to be able to run. Because when they put all these cases against him, this indictment, these fraud charges, the insurrection charges, all these things, and he's busy fighting all these things in court, it'd be pretty much impossible. Well, it wouldn't be impossible, but it'd be very, very, very difficult for him to do all this, plus he's 70-something years old. They're trying to make sure him raising money for his election, for uh, his election campaign next year in New York, is pretty much impossible at this point. Mr. Trump's lawyers... And a leading real estate expert have argued that Mr. James' lawsuit does not properly factor in that uh, the Trump's brand value or take into account the subjective nature of real estate valuations, uh, with borrowers and lenders routinely offering different estimates. So the estimates that this judge, <laughs> the estimate, take take his uh, Mar-a-Lago property for example. Property in front of the beach, large, large property, like a, it's the, pretty much a palace, man. It was kind of like the like the presidential palace during uh, uh, for the duration of his uh, term, of his last term, because he really didn't stay in the White House. So that alone, him being there, having his name and his brand, the Teflon president, <laughs> that.
that enough is enough valuation for that for that thing to to go up so the judge and whoever else they got from the democratic pockets to value the property mar-a-lago property for example they're saying it's valued at 18 million <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't hear me wrong 18 million 18 are you serious that's, that's come on man 18 million that that property is nothing less than 400 million what this is ridiculous it's laughable at this point 18 million tomorrow <laughs> these people are this they don't care how absurd their claims are they're just trying to make sure they put enough barriers for him so he's not able to run they're trying so hard. The Republicans don't really care, but they don't want Trump to be the, the leader of the party. They want either Mike Pence, uh, what's her name? Nikki Haley. Because if either Mike Pence or Nikki Haley gets in office, it doesn't matter who wins. The deep state wins because they own both of them. This is what they want. It doesn't matter whether you march, thousands of millions of people march for Trump and all this stuff. All these Trump songs that keep coming out, people making tributes to Donald Trump and all that. Even people that weren't in the Trump bandwagon before, they're joining the bandwagon now because they see what's going on. It's a witch hunt. It doesn't matter how many of these people wake up and how many of these people stand for Trump. The people in power do not care about the people. They actively hate the people. They hate you and I with a passion. This is not going to stick, but they do not care. They just want to make sure life is difficult for the Teflon president. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. The other guy, Skeletor, Joe Biden is there, can barely say any word right now. He's got one foot in the grave, another foot in a banana peel. He's pretty much gone. The Democrats are looking for a way to get either Gavin Newsom in there or Michelle Obama. They, they, don't, they don't want, was the vice president, Kamala Harris? They, 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 no, that one's... That, that one is as, 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 as dumb as a bag of nails, man. They don't want that one in there. So they're looking for ways to get Biden out and get Harris out. They want Newsom there. So you wouldn't be surprised if Newsom and Michelle Obama, the uh, last leg, swoop in and get the nomination. That's what they want. That's you can see, you can see the you can see the plan right and the, right there in the wall. It's nothing hidden. If you know what you're looking for, they, they don't, they're not even hiding these things at all. They're putting it right in your face, like, there, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Uh, anyways, that's the video, guys. Holla back at your boy, man.